So here's the deal. You always get one of these and you want to have a stand for it. Now, I've had a few different stands for filaments. This is what came with my my machine and the problem I had was is these flange bearings weren't big enough so I ended up adding an extra and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You have to deal with the width. The other day though, I was sitting there and I looked at something and I realized all I really need to have a filament holder is a tube. So we got a chunk of PVC. Let's just take this guy here. We're gonna open up the box. I'm gonna leave this guy sealed. I'm gonna use him later. I'm gonna bring out a roll that I have that's already been opened. We've got two circles there. Now, what you can cut is a slot all the way down and all the way around. Um, in this case, I'm gonna do it a little differently. I've got my little new handy dandy cutter. And my cutter is essentially a tattoo gun with a guitar string in it. And I will be able to cut the circle fairly quickly and easily. I don't always get a chance to do stuff like this, but sometimes when you get a template, it makes it easier to cut the circle properly. Gotta make sure that this tube will fit through it. And we'll go for one about this size, I think. There we go. Put that on there. and tight. Now, you drop your filament spools through, grab this, and you've got a filament holder that allows it to spin, and it has cost you nothing. And it actually looks pretty neat. And also, when you want to use other filaments, you just pull this out and put on something else. 